The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Check this out. Before we get into the commentary today, listen. I came across this guy, Will Tit4, on YouTube. Shout out to him. The first video that I came across was him getting fired from a black ops company. I actually did a reaction to that, and I have yet to edit it and get it together so I can post it. But before I can even do all that, I subscribe to his channel. Shout out to him again. He came back with another video saying that he started with controversial company Super Eagle. And I was like, wait, 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 hold up. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Hold up, my guy. The black ops company that you just got terminated from and that was about to strain you in Orlando, Florida, I kind of speculated that it was controversial company Super Eagle, but obviously it wasn't. It was a totally different company. And you guys go over there and check out that video. The name of the video is I Got Fired, where he tells a story. Well, he came back with another video and now he's giving controversial company Super Eagle a try. Here's a clip from my commentary of the previous video. And he's like, because now it's going up in a text. I'm like, I'm not going to the yard for what? Send me my next load. So he calls me and he says, pack your stuff up. You going home. I said, for what? He said, it don't matter for what. We already told you, go to the yard and leave the truck. Keep in mind, I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. They kicked me out in Orlando, Florida. Oh yeah, that moment of silence, because I'm trying to let that sink in. I live in Las Vegas. They kicked me out the truck in Orlando, Florida. They was about to strand this dude in Orlando, Florida. Crazy ass miles away, man. How far is Orlando, Florida from Las Vegas? That is mad work right there. That is crazy. Las Vegas, Nevada from Orlando, Florida, boy. Bruh. Las Vegas. From Orlando, Florida. By bus. Oh my God. I'm not sure how this dude was planning on getting home from Orlando, Florida, but we talking. We talking about over 2,000 miles away. So yeah, that is my man, Wilted Four. He's over at Controversial Company Super Eagle, giving them a try. And hopefully uh, everything work out for him, man. I pray that uh, he gets everything that he wants out of the company. And I hope the company do right by him. Chill Man reminds me so much of Bobby Reach. You guys remember him? Bobby Reach, the, the YouTuber, the truck driver that got fired from Snyder. He was the fastest growing channel on YouTube at the time. He was garnering like a thousand subscribers per day. One of his videos, I think it's a short, but I can't find it, has over a million views. So this guy reminds us so much of him. I had the pleasure of having Bobby Reach on the channel and we had a good conversation. I'll link that conversation in the description so you guys could uh, catch yourself up with Bobby Reach. Whatever happened to him? I get people that reach out to me all the time and you know, they kind of ask me about past guests and Bobby Reach was one of those pinnacle guests that I had on my channel. He was controversy. He was funny. He had a great, great attitude and everything despite what happened to him so yeah bobby reach man wherever you at i would love for you to reach back out to us so we can catch up man so guys without further ado let's get into today's commentary before we get started does anyone want to get out today's episode is sponsored by the ridge wallet more on them later Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for listening to the channel where we keep our ear to the streets and give you the realities of the road. In today's episode, our guy, Wilted4. Shout out to Wilted4. Make sure you go over to his YouTube channel and subscribe to him. Let him know Lockout Men sent you. 
In today's episode, our guy, Wilted Four from Las Vegas, is back in a new truck with controversial company, Super Eagle. Join me along with my guy, Anonymous, as we dive into the journey of Wilted Four, starting his job at Super Eagle Holdings. From his excitement of the first day to when he got his first load, this is the story of Wilted Four. Four. Welcome to this uh, special commentary, man. I, I did a commentary on the boy when he when he popped up on my feed, and he was talking about how he got treated from the quote unquote Russian company that he drove for. His video of of controversial company Super Ego popped up, and I'm like, at this point, I honestly think people is just going over there for content. I'm at this point that's the only reason why people going over there because by now, by now, like by now, uh, like by now, there is, there is thousands upon thousands upon thousands of videos. There's, there's reviews. There's been articles. There's been news stories like by now, if you don't know about controversial company super ego by now right. the only reason why why people is going over there now is just for yeah. content because you know, he clip bait and i appreciate how to bring people in <laughs> and if you guys want to see the video again shout out to uh, wilt four I'll definitely go over to his youtube channel and let him know yeah. lockout men sent you i did a commentary on what happened with his last company but i was i was surprised to see him hop on a controversial company super ego after after talking about what actually happened to him at his previous company before we listen and i'm sure you've seen the video What's your thoughts going into all of this, man? Yeah, man, people are crazy. Like you say, people, I think they just, they going over there for views. They know if they post that video on YouTube, they going to get thousands of views. And if you can't just call a duck a duck, and damn it, yeah, you just, you need to be sitting in the back of the class in the corner somewhere and study a little bit more. That's what's up, man. Here we go. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. Got some crazy shit to tell y'all. Chicago Ohe Airport, waiting on this super ego driver to come pick me up. And uh, it's time. Look who calling me. My guy cleaned the truck inside. Oh, you're a YouTuber? Yep. Really? Yep. Already, that just tells me that that the people from Super Eagle already know that people is going to make YouTube videos about their company. That yeah. right there, I already know that yep. I'm kind of at this point just thinking that you guys is just going over there just for the content now. Yeah, they know much. that you're going to make the videos. They know that you're going to make the videos. They know that you're going to post it. They know that you're going to get thousands and thousands of views and they free publicity. Right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Free publicity. Maybe maybe they reached out to the boy and said, hey, we saw your YouTube video and we saw what happened to you. If if we pay you a little bit of coins, would you mind coming over here to controversial company Super Eagle and drive for us and we'll pack your your pockets for you? And maybe that was probably the the gist of him coming over there because in his last video he was talking about how down and out he really was when he got hemmed up in florida and i and at that video i thought that it was controversial company super eagle because don't don't they got a terminal in florida now yeah they got one in jacksonville right out right when you get off i think it's off of 95 or 10 over there it's right there in jacksonville it's right in jacksonville okay. so oh. yeah that's one of their drop yards down there so that's so that's Jacksonville. He said he was hemmed up in Orlando. Orlando thank you. Yeah, God. Orlando. Damn it, man. Yeah, he said he was hemmed up in Orlando, Florida, and he stayed in Las Vegas, Nevada. 2025. Man, 25, buddy. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, you're gonna be badass on the road. Come on, man. Yep. Yeah. Sir. 
New Volvo. Let's go. Greg. <laughs> now, I got to admit, that Volvo is clean. If yeah. it is a 2025, if it is a 2025, then that Volvo looks sweet. It looks clean. Uh, the next day, he wakes up inside of the Volvo. Man, just picked up my brand new 2025 Volvo. Straight up off the lot. They got to clean it out and shit. Well, nah, I mean, clean, that ins clean the outside, like wash down and all that. But the inside is flawless. It's nice. I don't got nothing with me. I pretty much backpacked it here from Las Vegas to Chicago. So I really just got like a couple pair of drawers and socks and all that. But ain't worried about none of that, bro. We could truck in these same clothes for a week. I don't care. That's what's up. And, and that's the kind of drivers that controversial company Super Eagle is looking for. They looking for you, bro. <laughs> they looking, look, let's say, hey, if you got a backpack, backpack from Hoboken. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you got a backpack, from Hoboken with just one sock on and a half a shirt. And 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 they're gonna get you up in there. You're gonna they, they're gonna get you set. But I don't know, man. A 2025 Volvo, the truck payment on that gotta be in the thousand. Yeah, it gotta yeah. be like brand 1500 new Most of the trucks yeah, brand in, new. The trailers I done recovered with some of them. When I run across some of them drivers, they be up to like eight, nine hundred dollars a week. So yeah, he broke. He broke. He 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 definitely broke. He ain't finna make no money doing that. That's a wrap because that truck payment, that's gonna rape him right there. That, that right there ripped his pocket down. They got him good and he happy. He like, I got a 2025 Volvo. Boy, you got a note. You ain't making nothing. All you got is a note. Hand, hand for the truck. Looking for the perfect wallet? Meet the Ridge Wallet. With thousands of colors and styles, there's a ridge for everyone. It is designed for everyday use, keeping your essentials organized without the bulk. Whether you prefer the classic look or the bold look, you'll find a Ridge wallet that fits your style. Crafted with durable materials, the Ridge wallet is built to last with its FRID blocking technology, ensures your cards are safe, making it the perfect on-the-go lifestyle. Upgrade from your dad wallet to your new everyday carry. Discover the perfect match at RidgeWallet.com. Embrace your style, functionality, and security. And don't forget, when you head over to the RidgeWallet.com to make your first order, make sure you use my promo code YouTube10. With that, you would get 10% off your first Ridge Wallet. Thank you, Ridge Wallet, for sponsoring today's episode. If y'all want to see the video without my commentary, definitely go over there and check out his channel. Uh, he got the video up, Super Ego driving. He's happy to be there. Got a 2025 brand yep. new Volvo. And hopefully, uh, hopefully things go good for this young man. He... Talk to a couple of drivers that looked like that they was happy with a controversial company, Super Ego. And again, for me, I'm, I just feel that you guys is just going over there now just for the content, man. That's all I see. But let's go to the next day. Shit, was good with y'all? It's the next morning. I just woke up in my brand new check. Shit crazy. I'm on the rock. What I'm saying is like, we're gonna find that person. Yeah. When we do find them, once we get them back, I'm gonna give them right back to them. Really? Say, congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> no, no, let me, let me stop you right there, bruh. Hey, listen, listen, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna step on your dreams oh. of being an owner op, but <laughs> bro, you're, you're not an owner op. No. You're, you're a lease op. You, you're a you're lease operator oh. right now. You're on the right path. Listen, 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 my guy. You're on the right path to being an owner op because you're definitely going to learn the ways of how to operate a truck while being a lease op. And you could take that experience right. into your journey of being an owner op. But right now, you're not an owner op, my guy. You don't own the truck. You don't own your own authority. And you getting your loads directly from the black ops company. Right. I have an owner op on the phone. Let 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 him tell you what owner ops.
have to do. Well, Take it away, bro. All right. You got to pay for your own fuel. You got to deal with your own repairs. There is no rebates and all this other stuff. When you have breakdowns, you're on the side of the road. You got to get off the side of that road. And not only that, but right at about now in the industry, we're not waking up smiling like I'm on the rock. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's more like I'm about ready to throw in the towel because when you're paying for everything, it's not glory. It's not fun. I got I need a new I, I need a new oil pan on my truck. That's going to run me about 1200 bucks just to change it myself. If I pay somebody to change it, that's almost two grand. So I am not happy right now. A lot of us out here, I was just discussing this morning with a few guys. I'm helping the guy jump his truck right now because the shop's trying to charge him 150 just to jump. It's not a fun deal being on out. You, you have that last dime in your pocket. You better hope that damn tire don't go out. You better hope the truck don't shut down. You better hope you can find some good loans for the week. Rather than that, it's not about, oh, I'm an owner off and I'm going to just go home and park the truck in the driveway and take a three-week vacation with the family. Oh, no, you'll be broke. So, yeah, I, I don't, you know, he got the right intention, but you only lease it to own. You better off being a company driver at this point. Especially right now. I just did company driver. I wouldn't even, man, I wouldn't even mess with no lease operator mess right now. Lease until the industry get back to it. But anonymous, though. Anonymous. But what is the good side of all that? I hear all of the... I hear everything that you got to go through as being the owner out because there's a lot more responsibilities. But what is the good side of that? You are able to to book your own loads. You're able to go anywhere you want to go. You run your own authority. You you get to go home when you want to go home. What's the good side of everything? I'm, I'm hearing the bad side all the time. I'm hearing the rates are low, get a blowout, going to touch the pockets. But what what is the... What is the the, the 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 reason why this young man want to become an owner op? What is the good side of it? Well, he thinks being your own boss, you can just do what you want. But when you're in charge of everything, it is not a good side to it. It's more like you're it's like you're in the penitentiary. You're on point at all times. You gotta pay for everything. You gotta watch up carefully. You gotta you you gotta keep your eyes on everything because one false move can put you out of business. Even an accident, one simple fender bender, it's game over. They shut you down. So yeah, it's really there it really is the only benefit people feel like, oh I'm my own boss. But that come with a lot of their responsibility. Which some of these dudes nowadays are not ready for. They're not ready to just be responsible for that because one blowout, you got these guys talking about, oh, well, they got to pay for it. Wait a minute now. You lease in the truck, you big time owner operator. What you mean they got to pay for it? You got to pay for that and reimburse them people for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's the only benefit is being your own boss, but it costs to be the boss. Like, it is not a fun ordeal. It's not like you wake up every morning with a pocket full of money and can just do what you want to do. No. Now, as of right now, he has the benefits of owner op, but the, but the side benefit of being a company driver because the company is going to cover for everything every expense while he's out there driving but of course the company is going to get they they're going to get they stuff back in the return and it's going to definitely show in his elements right yeah he's going they and they charge an extra fee for them to use their account to repair their truck from what i understand from the trailers to the trucks they you may go in there and pay 200 bucks for a repair and they may end up charging you a couple of extra 50 150 bucks or it may cost you about two just to get it repaired by them when you can really do it out of your pocket but then they have to clear the repair with the shop before or they even start working on it. So you got to call Ego. They got to clear it. And that's when people abandon them because Ego don't want to pay for certain repairs. They say, oh, no, too expensive. So what are you supposed to do? Drive down the road like that? No. So that's why guys dump them at the truck, bring the trailers up in the truck stop because, hey, this guy wanted this repaired. They still didn't repair it. So he left it in the parking lot and he got the hell out of it. Yeah, because if they can't make any money off of you and it's no benefit in helping. So at this point, we can just let you abandon it and have somebody else come get it. Tell them, oh, yeah, it's good to go. Don't worry about it. And they, it's, just, it's, a, it's a rinse and repeat. It's a damn shame. Go at my pace. Man, if I see a basketball court on the side of the road, I could go shoot some hoops. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody rushing me, nothing. They just booked me my first load. That's exciting. I'm in Chicago right now. I'm finna head up to Illinois. I mean, to uh, Wisconsin. I'm finna dead head like 150 miles, which is the smart thing to do because they got the best loads right now coming out of there to the west. So I'm finna go grab this Wisconsin load, take it to LA, or no, I'm taking it to Fresno, California, but I'm gonna stop oh. in Vegas, which is my home, because it's not due till Tuesday. And it is, what's um, today? Today, Friday. And it's only a, like a one day drive. So if I was to ever.
Now hold on. No, it's not a one day drive. One day drive? Wait, wait, wait. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Wait, wait. It's a one day, one day drive to Wisconsin because Wisconsin is the next state over. I know a one day run to Wisconsin is the next state over, so that's one day. But he, I'm, I'm hoping that's what he's talking about one day to get up to Wisconsin. But you, you talking about over two thousand miles to get to California? Am I, am I right about that? Yeah, or is I don't, it longer I don't even or is drive it shorter? Out there. I don't take my truck past Nebraska, so he messing up in the beginning. Don't nobody want no load going to California. It's a bunch of us on the operators. We ain't taking no California load. That truck stopped at Iowa, Nebraska, and it's a U-turn. Hey, yeah, he's already screwing up. He think that the longer he goes, the more he gonna make. If you could take a run for every day over there because they let him run illegal, you take a thousand dollar run every day for five days and shut that truck down on Friday and at least have a load on there for Monday. You'll be all right. You probably might make something, but yeah, okay. he, he ain't making no sense just taking one long run so okay. he can go hang out at the house and make hell no. Well, he, he said that the load is due. Well, hold on, let's hear what he say again. What'd he say? He said it's due when? So I'm finna go grab this Wisconsin load, take it to LA. Or no, I'm taking it to Fresno, California, but I'm gonna stop in Vegas, which is my home, because it's not due till Tuesday, and it is um, what's today, today Friday, and it's only a, like a one day drive. So if I was to ever, if I was to drive it straight, it'd be a one day drive. So stop the cap. <laughs> stop the cap right now. So he said. So he saying it's a one day drive from Illinois to Nevada because he lives in Nevada. I'm, I'm going to assume that he negotiated the load to California so he can at least stop at home so he can stock his truck. Uh, but he's saying, he's saying that it's a one day kid, drive, bro. The kid got a lot of learning to do, man. It's easy to catch that get on YouTube and they get truck in a bad mood. That's a damn thing. It's sad, it's sad. <laughs> Black ops companies are, are ELD friendly. It's funny that he says this because he was complaining about the last company that he was with about uh, about them being ELD friendly and they had him to do impossible loads to the point that he couldn't do it no more. But the thing is, they run you so hard, you get tired of doing that. They'll make you drive 12 hours, drop the load, make you deadhead four hours to go pick up a new load, and then tell you to drive 13 more hours to deliver that load. So if you think about it, you really went without sleep for 20 something hours, right? And you thinking in your head like, I mean, I just did two loads, really no sleep. I should be able to rest after the second one, right? I should have been able to rest after the first one, but I didn't say nothing. I was just trying to thug it out, trying to get the money. But after that fourth, that second load, excuse me, it's really time for some rest. But at that point, I shouldn't have to beg for it. I shouldn't have to go back and forth and discuss. It shouldn't even be like a how long, right? There would be times where I was just trying to sleep for four, five hours, and they would just be like, hey, can you take a two hour nap? I'm like, bro, I just drove 17 hours. You know, I really should be sleep shut down for a 10, but I was just trying to take a four or five hour nap just to do y'all a favor and to keep it going. Four or five hours is too much to them. So long story short, I couldn't take it no more. They would hit me up. I really wouldn't respond. If they send me a load, I, one of the main fleet managers calls me and he's like, he calls me and he says, pack your stuff up, you going home. I said, for what? He said, it don't matter for what. We already told you, go to the yard and leave the truck. Keep in mind, I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. They kicked me out in Orlando, Florida. Told his fleet manager like, yo, bro, I need some sleep. I, I need to get some rest. And it seems as though that he had a back and forth with his dispatcher because of it. And that's why the company uprooted him out of the truck and told him to go home. He's gonna find out. Yeah, he's gonna find out the hard way. I mean, it's sad, like it could be just his views, but if he really serious, he's gonna find out the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> it, it gotta be, yep. it, it gotta be for something. Listen, listen, much success to this young man. I'm not gonna rain on his parade or anything like that. He just started there, so of yep. course it's gonna be good. He's gonna continue his journey. So you guys go over there and follow him and see how he's doing and everything but the reality is you guys gotta just do your research it's a lot of people in this comment session that's telling him like 
bro, you, you don't know about this company. You haven't heard all the reviews about this company. You haven't heard all the lawsuits on this company. You haven't heard all of the articles, the news articles on this company. We understand that you are a young guy. We understand you're a go-getter and everything. And we understand your ambitions. But for me personal, for me personally, I, I just feel as of now, as of now, because I talked to plenty of drivers. I, as a matter of fact, I have a another video of an A and R calling me once again, uh, spilling the tea, spilling the milk about a controversial company, Super Eagle, that will be out soon. But if it's not already out before this one, but. For anybody that goes over there, of course, you're going to go over there. You're going to find yeah. out for yourself. You're going to always be that person. You're going to be that person that I can do it better than that yeah. other person. You going to be that person. And I believe that's some of the reasons why you guys keep going over there and try to test the waters because you see all of the other failures out of outside of the company. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider okay y'all got two options well one but two options you can either subscribe for the channel for more and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show and you just feel like I can do it better. I can run the truck better. I can control my fuel better. I can I can get a brand new 2025 better. I can get a, a brand new trailer better. I, I can stay up and, and, and be a robot for 24 hours, 34 hours better. And then you yep. realize when the reality sets in, you realize you, you having the same problems as all these other drivers and that came behind you so good luck my guy again everybody go over there check out the check out this video so far as of this taping uh, he got 500 views on the video the name of the video is first what is it first first day at super ego gone wrong but that's just clip bait actually he's very he's very happy with the company as of right now he's contempt as of right now he got his first load he went out to i think he stopped the video when he was in utah so so far so good for this young man much success to him i appreciate my guy anonymous for stopping over and uh, sharing uh, his thoughts on uh, on this episode today man uh, you're out you're out in jersey huh yeah you trying to get that other driver yeah, together man helping him do a repair to his truck and uh yeah we got some, got some stuff going on over here man i talked to you on the side note about that and yeah <laughs> big business okay drivers that's that's interested in coming in not just what controversial company super eagle but with any black ops companies that that does the least purchase and put you on the route to become an owner operator what what is some of the what is some of your advice or some of your thoughts that you can that you can give these young jacks because it's i'm 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 looking at these guys and he couldn't be no more than like yeah. what 25 Yo, and it's 20 you know what i'm saying and i and i i get it i i want guys like that to be young to at least stack their paper especially if they don't have no yeah. responsibilities so that's a good way of stacking your paper and and a good way to be on on the route to become an owner operator what, what what do you what, what do you hey, say about you know what that? i mean they they should just go to a company man start off at a company first don't come out here trying to leave it's a robbery it's a scam all of them are scam. they're the biggest ponzi scheme in trucking everyone knows it. and the reason why they're able to get away with stuff like that and to do what they want to do is because the united states the federal government allows them to get these loans 
and they showed them how to do business over here. And it basically just gave them a green light to rob you. So if people do their research and a lot of these Russian and Serbian companies, they are robbing people. They are robbing even their own people that do straight up business to tell you. They're the biggest little vendor trucking industry. Why do people keep going there? They live off this dream. I'm going to get a truck to zero down and become rich and be an owner operator and it actually don't work like this. Nothing for zero down is any good. Even a car dealer, you go to zero down as a catch. Best to believe as a catch. So, I mean, be a company driver. Start off with everybody. Start off with a gag on truck. I thought about selling this truck. I'm second, really ready to, start, ready to give it up and go back and be in a company driver. It ain't worth it right now. And if they knew any better, they had any knowledge of that, they wouldn't even jump over there to them companies like this. Yeah, that's right, man. Now, ho ho hold on, Anonymous. Ho hold on, Anonymous. You, you've been an owner-operator for for a good minute, man. Do you really think you can handle going back to being a company driver? Because you, where you coming from, you 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 taking care of yourself. You you moder moderately financially dependent a little bit, considering the fact that you gotta take care of things. But you you got some money. But do you really think you can? Do you really think you can handle going back to be a being a company driver making sixty five cent a mile, bruh? Be honest, man. Stop the cap. <laughs> No, I'm going I'm to be for real with you. I'm, I'm getting older, so I need benefits. I need health. I need medical. I need good dental. Sometimes paying out the pocket for some of these benefits, they don't only get you but so much and so, you know, so far. So, yeah, me personally, I used to run turnpike doubles up and down 90 for a company out of Massachusetts, and I'd go back to doing that. It, it wouldn't hurt me one bit. I'd, I'd bring home probably 18, 1900 a week, sometimes two grand a week on a good week. So it really, you know, the repairs and the expenses on these trucks, they've gone up. I do my own repairs most of the time when I can. I got my own computer and everything to stand and do things to the truck, but it's just getting out of hand. It's charging way too much, and the rate as far as the freight right now is not paying enough. You know, and I, I look at other avenues. I just I always thought about it. If it don't tighten up within another year, yeah, I'll shut it down. They sell, they buy and sell trucks every day. If I need another one, I'd buy another one eventually to get better. But yeah, I've seriously thought about this. All right, all right. All right, and before we get on up out of here, y'all, to touch back on what Anonymous said about uh, you're not going to get rich with, with companies, quiet as kept you not. You're not going to be a millionaire while working for a billionaire, okay? I'm, I'm just saying, just keep that, let that marinate. You're not going to be a millionaire while working for a billionaire because a billionaire got to where he's at off the backs of people that think that they're going to become a millionaire. Think about that.